Hello my friend, what is up? In this video we're gonna show you how to put a concrete slab in front of the door. Not gonna be something like a permanent, just gonna be something just temporary. All this area we plan to pave it via asphalt, but we are not ready to, to do it yet. For now we're just gonna put this slab in front of the door and then after that we will break it and pave on the top. We're gonna have a video about all the paving the setting. You guys gonna see how to do. Keep you guys open, your eye open for it, and uh, we'll show you. Okay, let's work, buddy. Yes, is this a recording? Hello, guys. Here are some of the tools that we use on this project, so I will show you. Okay, so this is what we use for the form. Nice spare aluminum one. And we have a bevel to make sure the water run the right way, away from the house, away from the door. We have a homemade compactor. This is to compact the soil, like you guys can see. Nice piece of homemade. We have a drill. This is a dry oil screw gun, but we're just gonna put a few screws to secure the form. This would uh, work perfect for what we need. We have a shovel in here that we use for the sand and to move me around. Use this little guy to straighten up. How can you forget this guy? This is uh, my buddy, a hammer. No, for finish and deal with the cement to use those these tools and we have a trowel we use this rake to make sure it's always straight and this time we use the a drill to mix the concrete the cement so it works very good but if you don't have the drill you can use this guy to mix uh, this hole to mix the cement it's very good if you mix by hand fortunately we have the drill here so we didn't have to do that and the broom, do the broom sweep concrete, that way it's a uh, little bit rough, not too rough. The steel broom works better. And finally, we use the sand, use a little bit of glue, and the cement. This is, uh, as you guys can see, Portland general use in the bucket. A lot of tools for a small job, but it's, uh, sometimes it's good to have them around. Yeah, let's work. Let's get the job done. This is the form that we have here. So just a two by four on the flat because we don't just don't need it like uh, very thick. We're gonna have it here temporary until we pave the whole driveway. Okay, let's go. Today is a nice day to work on this side. gonna use the square to make sure it is square there you go nice and square gonna do a few screws in here to hold the wood that would hold it straight I already have this here from a previous job so I just gonna use it this is uh, to hold the form in place enough to hold it I don't want to put too deep because we could have uh, something in there a pipe or something for this one in here we're gonna put another pin in there and we're good to go okay I'm just gonna pull a little bit of soil in there that way this would help to hold it tight on place we don't have any concrete escaping This is a level that we're gonna use. It's an old level. Usually I use for concrete. It's just a, a level that is a little bit older. Just make sure that the new one don't get to mess. So we're just gonna make sure this side here for the door is a little bit, make sure that it's a little bit higher than is looking to the opposite way of the door. Otherwise the water would go inside your house and accumulate there. This case I show you guys. We have about, I would say, about three quarter to one inch is locked in this guy, more or less. This one here we're just gonna, doesn't have to be 100% level. Oh. 
This is level, very much level, so looking good. Looking very good. In most cases, we use a six mil pole, poly. Usually, we put the poly before we put the concrete. That is a moisture barrier, like that way, the moisture from the soil doesn't go into the concrete. In this application, we will not do it because it's not necessary. Because we will be, once we red, we're just gonna break it. I will throw a little bit of sand to make it smoother for the for this concrete. So, we have the drain in here. This, uh, this is for the future, so for now we're just gonna cover up. Even the future, this, we have a great slope here, probably you're not gonna need it. We just built this guy to compact it a little bit. We're just gonna grab from one corner. Put some water, that way it's, uh, water is very good to compact the soil. So we're gonna throw some water, make sure this is gonna be nice and tight. I will put a pole in here to protect a little bit this door, not to get too mess, and uh, there we go. Yes, uh, what we have here with this cement is uh, been set for about three, four months. Like you guys can see, it's not like a already start to get a little bit hard but what happened is since we just need this one done for temporary for a few months until we're ready to to do the paving if you have some leftover that is still in this condition you still be able to use it to do something that is not so important We're gonna use this broom to make a rough texture because we need the slab to be rough. We don't want people to get a hurt in here. So we're just gonna use the broom and looks nice. The good thing about this broom here would not be too rough, but it's not be very smooth. So it would be perfect in here. You just grab it up to the end up to the end, there we go, nothing to praise. I'm gonna use this, uh, this tool here just to, to break the corner down that way it's a little bit round, that way nobody get hurt on it. Around. 
so we just do a just fit the, against the two the two by four and then just run it right yes my friends this is done for for today we we'll back in tomorrow to remove the foam what we're gonna do here today we're gonna do the cleanup clean up all the tools put everything away clean up the door and we'll be back tomorrow to remove the two by four yeah we're gonna give it uh, 24 hours to be set probably you just stop by for a few minutes tomorrow in the afternoon and we'll be good to work on it next step we're gonna do here we're gonna use the utility pole to cover the, the slab that way we keep the moisture while it's set and that way we have a better product and uh, this time was just something temporary for a few months next time we will show you how to do something permanent which we're gonna use rebars gonna use uh, real concrete and do a big stuff and show you a finishing Here we have the poly here. I'm just gonna find something to hold it on place. Like, oh yeah, I love the rock because uh, we are here close to the sea and we have them all over the place. So just put there, few in there. Just go there to the door. So we good, we done, just clean up and we are good to go. See you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, what's up? We back here today, it been here for about 24 hours. We are just gonna remove it and see how it looks. We kept the pollen here, that way you keep the moisture, that way it uh, dry strong, so like you can see, it is uh, humid. Okay, you guys can see, a lot of moisture in there. Just gonna remove my rocks. Let's see how it looks. Looks dead. Looks great. Just gonna remove the two by four in here. It looks just great, man. And then if you, there's something that you don't like like that, just straight it out. All the water just gonna run down. Yeah, so we just uh, pour some water there just to make sure it's gonna run away from the door. Just gonna straighten up, up a little bit. Some of the oil bed. Yes, guy. Okay, our slab here is uh, is finished. We just uh, finish it. Look good. And uh, just to have mind, this is, will be something just temporary for about three months. After three months, we're gonna pave the whole area and we're gonna break this down. So. Do you have a clean place to step and a place to keep the shoes? In this unit, the same unit, we also use the blinds and the soundproof door. And now you guys just check the video and you're gonna see how we get it done. Thank you for what? Thank you for your support. Just uh, make sure to keep your eye open. We're gonna have a great content coming up. If you like this video, put your thumbs up. If you have any question, any concern, any suggestion for us to do a better video, just let us know. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next video. Looks strong, huh? Yeah. Looks good, man. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, let's wrap it up, man.